Welcome to another great session. I'm here with Garrett Pronovost. Garrett is a founder of Gap Consulting, a company that helps entrepreneurs use Airtable to organize data and eliminate hours of daily administrative tasks. I know as entrepreneurs, we don't like administrative tasks. And he does it through automations. Welcome, Garrett. It's great to have you with us today. Oh, thank you for having me, Chris. I'm excited to, to share some knowledge. <laughs> Garrett, and uh, to start with, can you give us a short story of how you ended up what you are doing today? Yeah, I'll give you the shortest version possible. <laughs> uh, you know, like so many entrepreneurs, I tried many times uh, to start a small business and was unsuccessful a number of times. Um, and I went back to work uh, in my a corporate job. And actually, the decision was made for me. I got laid off and uh, I didn't know what was going to happen next. So I found some contract work. And while I was making ends meet with that contract work, and I was thinking of looking for another job and putting out feelers, I found this software and Airtable, which is the software, the predominant software that we consult with. And I realized that it was capable of a lot and there weren't a lot of good instructional tutorials out there. And so I thought, well, somebody has to create them. <laughs> and I did. And before you know it, folks started calling and asking for help. And uh, one thing led to another. And now I, I couldn't imagine my life any other way. Uh, so it was, it was the best thing that could have possibly happened getting laid off from my corporate job. I'm so glad that happened because I know that if you have this entrepreneurial drive, it is very painful to work for someone else. If you it have really it, is. you have to go and start something. It's there for a reason. Garrett, I think that many of our listeners and viewers right now don't really know what you're talking about. Automation <laughs> seems very, very scary and difficult and they may feel that it would take them way too much time to figure it out. Right. You could tell us a little more on what are the benefits? Oh, automation. I should preface this by saying I am not a computer programmer. Never have I thought of myself as being particularly tech savvy. Uh, in my previous corporate job, I worked as a financial analyst. So I'm good with numbers and logic, but that's it. Um, I don't know code to this day. I, I hire people on my team who know code, but I don't. So I, I like prefacing with that because I think it's important to know that you don't have to be a you know, computer science PhD candidate in order to you know, build um, amazing automation. And if you think about it, we are in the knowledge economy now, and we are selling the ability to improve work, productivity, build better lives. And I, I, I think of this as being very different from the industrial revolution where we were producing tangible things, tangible goods predominantly drove the economy. And now the primary drivers are software efficiency, what you know. And uh, even, even in the knowledge uh, you know, economy, we still do so much of the same repetitive tasks over and over again. We send the same email over and over again. We create the same you know, Word document, but we tweak it for our client. You know, we, we copy and paste the client name into our template, right? We, uh, we just have so many manual processes to the point where, in fact, you know, so many entrepreneurs have virtual assistants. And I'm, I'm no exception. I have my own assistant. But there's so much of this that doesn't need to be delegated and instead can be built into automation. And it's so much easier than it sounds. All it requires is logic that you can say, well, when this thing happens, thing A, then I want to do B, C, D, E, and F. And something that might take you five minutes a day to do that, but if you do it every day, really adds up, right? Five minutes a day is 25 minutes over your work week. It's almost two hours over a month. And, uh, you know, by the, if you break your day down into all these little five minute things that you do, oh, this takes me five minutes, this takes me five minutes, this one 10, 
by the end of it, after you've built automated processes for this, uh, it's it's possible to save literally half of your workday. And uh, so I, I encourage my students to, to start thinking about how they can do that and, and take them through the steps of building this. And I, I, like I said at the beginning, uh, this is all using no code tools. And so really it requires just that you understand logically what happens. And in fact, you'd find that it's surprising that many business owners don't know their process. And so that's always where we start. So if you can figure out your process, folks, <laughs> you can probably build an automation that will run in the background for you.